I got access to the closed beta for Wuthering Waves. Wuthering Waves, of course, being one of the biggest gacha releases of 2023, and I'm going to be streaming the closed beta every single day this week, beginning today at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I have on screen right now a list of time zones converted to Pacific Standard Time, which is the time zone that they gave me they will be releasing in. My time zone, Raleigh, North Carolina, the UK, Japan, Germany, Canada, and Australia. I divided it amongst these seven different time zones because I feel like you can accurately convert whatever your time zone is based off of the time zone that is listed here. For those of you that are incapable of doing it purely based off of me giving my time zone, which is Eastern Standard Time, and I will be streaming the beta beginning at 9 p.m. today over on Twitch. I am going to be tackling every single thing this game has to offer, as much of it as I possibly can. I'm going to be trying to obtain every character, every waifu, every husbando, reach every area, get as far through in terms of levels, go through all the story, fight all the bosses. I believe that there is a degree of multiplayer present, so Mrs. Dix also has access to this beta test. She's going to be playing alongside me, which means that if and or when we reach the cooperative multiplayer aspect we will group together and see how co-op functions in the game. But that's just what I've been told. It might not have multiplayer, I guess I'm gonna find out when I get in game. Now in anticipation of playing later today, I know that nine days ago and eight days ago respectively, the Wuthering Waves YouTube channel uploaded two different trailers. One titled the Wuthering Waves closed beta test gameplay trailer and the other the closed beta test character teaser. I, as you can tell, have not watched either. I clicked this briefly because I was going to do a dedicated video on it, but I forgot because I think I ended up doing something else eight days ago. Right, my video on JRPGs coming this year, my video on Dislight, followed by the Global Ether Gazer announcement, Honkai Star Rail Shattering Records, the new Husbando game. So I've been busy, as you can tell, I've, I've done a lot. I had planned to react to the trailer footage. I'm gonna go ahead and do that today because I'm excited. And I mean, I'm gonna be streaming this game today, so might as well react to it and then play it. Speaking of, I am gonna be streaming this. This video goes live at roughly 11 a.m., maybe noon, which means in approximately nine hours, I will be streaming Wuthering Waves over on Twitch. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, follow me there. I'll have a link to it in the description and the pinned comment, or you can just navigate on over based off of what you see on screen right now. So the first trailer was the test gameplay trailer. We'll look at that first. Dude, like, they made the, the male character, male protagonist in this game look hot. Like male and female protagonists in this game look so unbelievably attractive. Dude, the, the special effect, like the, the animations when they're utilizing their uh, glide, oh my god, that looks sick. The areas look a lot better than they did during their last beta trailer. Like during their last trailer, I mean. Everything looks more vibrant. Everything looks better quality. <laughs> Dude. Oh my God. The the the, uh, the 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 fluidity of their abilities is insane. Oh my god! The characters just look so good. I just, I want to note here that there were a lot of people that were like, there are too many black haired characters in the game. 
In this trailer, we saw characters with silver hair, we saw characters with red hair, we saw characters with black hair, we saw characters with like blue and green hair. Yeah, trust me, there aren't uh, an overly excessive amount- awake. Rover. Wait, that isn't talking in English. They're dubbing the game in English. <gasps> that is huge. I don't think Punishing Grey Raven didn't have an English dub, did it? Oh, that's crazy. I really hope they they uh they have a good dub cast. <laughs> en route is this uh is the name of this trailer. Look out! Emergency coming through. Oh, this is dub too. And here's another red-haired character. Gotta make haste. Got it. There's always a shortcut for a hero. She has green hair. I'll meet you there. <laughs> oh. uh. Pink. On second thought, I'm gonna... Ah! Uh, is that edible? So I will note, the English dub cast seems to share, uh, share certain voice actors with Nikkei. Which is good, because I, I think Nikkei had a really good English dub voice cast. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, I can't wait to explore all that. Oh yeah, I'm excited. How can you not be? That was a great trailer. Again, I'm gonna be streaming this later today, roughly nine hours from now. I strongly urge you to go ahead, come on over, follow me there, watch me stream this. Not just that, but I am going to be streaming every single day this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be streaming Wuthering Waves every single day that the beta test is available. And I will be streaming Honkai Star Rail the same day. I'm gonna split it evenly between the two games. We have a lot to do, we have a lot to cover, and we have a lot to push through. Do not miss out on joining me there. I, I would honestly love to have you. It'll make it that much more fun for me. Now, if Wuthering Waves isn't your thing, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. One featuring every gacha releasing this month. The other featuring another gacha that actually looks like it could be a lot of fun.